5000 Spetsnaz, Su-35, S-400, Panzer S-1, and advanced warships surround Ukraine. Thousands more elite Russian special forces are flooding into Belarus escalating fears of an imminent Ukraine invasion. The 14th Spetsnaz Brigade of 2000 crack assassins, sabotage experts and covert operatives are on their way to Ukraine's northern neighbor. They will bolster at least 5,000 Spetsnaz already there who are among 80,000 regular soldiers from Russia and Belarus. Russia is sending two S-400 surface-to-air missile system battalions to Belarus to join military drills there next month, Interfax reported Friday, citing Moscow's defense ministry as tensions with the West over neighboring Ukraine continue to escalate. Russia's defense ministry said that two S-400 battalions were part of the S-400 Triumph combat crew and were being transferred to Belarus by train from the Khabarovsk region of Russia's Far East. Russia previously said it would also deploy a Panzer missile system and 12 Sukhoi Su-35 fighter jets to Belarus for the drills, which will take place near Belarus's western frontier bordering NATO members Poland and Lithuania, as well as near its southern border with Ukraine. The Russian air defense system S-400 Triumph has been deployed in Belarus. The battle crews are getting ready for duty in the unified regional air defense system. The maneuvers are held within the framework of verification of the reaction forces of the Union state. Previously, the units had marched more than 9,000 kilometers from their deployment point in Khabarovsk territory. The units of the Russian army have already entered into interaction with units of radio technical troops of Belarus. This means that the air situation in the sky over the Union state is completely under control. Along with long-range air defense systems, the air defense missile and missile systems Panzer S-1. The systems can fire at both air and ground targets at any time of the day or night, regardless of weather conditions. News of more of Russia's SAS-style troops entering Belarus has heightened alarm over the Kremlin's military buildup against Ukraine. At least 126,000 Russian forces are already gathered on Ukraine's eastern flank and off the coast in Navy warships. Russia has claimed the Belarus buildup is for joint exercises with local forces, although the numbers are way over the threshold for non-lethal wargaming. Russian Navy amphibious group enters Black Sea as warships mass in the Mediterranean. A group of three Russian warships capable of landing tanks and troops ashore now in the Black Sea, as the Russian Navy begins to mass ships in the Mediterranean. Three Rapucha-class tank landing ships, RFS Minsk, 127, RFS Korolev, 130 and RFS Kaliningrad, 102, entered the Black Sea, as seen in photos from ship spotter Yurik Isaac. The same photographer recorded the ships entering the Dardanelles Strait on Tuesday morning. The 4,080-ton amphibs are each capable of landing 10 main battle tanks and about 350 troops ashore. The three ships were part of the six amphibious warship task group assembled from the Baltic and North fleets that pulled into the Russian naval base in Syria as part of a series of naval exercises, according to a report in the state-run TASS news service. The task group included the Rapture-class amphibs RTS Georgi Pobedinasets, 016, and RTS Olenogorsky Gornyak, 012, and the 6,600-ton Ivan Gren-class RTS Pyotr Morganov. Pyotr Morganov is capable of landing 13 main battle tanks and 300 troops, as well as field two attack helicopters. Naval News reported that Kilo-class diesel-electric attack submarine RTS Rostov Nadonu, B-237, is part of the task group. Last month, ships from the group departed from the Russian exclave in Kaliningrad in the Baltic Sea near Sweden. Maneuvers close to Swedish waters prompted Stockholm to send a military force to reinforce the island of Gotland, according to the Gothenburg's Post and newspaper. All seven are due in the Black Sea by the end of the week, according to Naval News. A U.S. destroyer is operating near the task group in the North Aegean Sea, a U.S. defense official confirmed to USNI News on Tuesday. Meanwhile, Russia has also sent two 11,500-ton guided missile Slava-class cruisers and escorts to the Mediterranean. On February 2, the Pacific Fleet-based Slava-class RFS Variag, 011, Udaloy-class destroyer RTS Admiral Tribets, 564, and fleet oiler Boris Butoma entered the eastern Mediterranean from the Suez Canal. The northern fleet flagship, the Slava-class cruiser RTS Marshal Ustinov, 
055, had been operating off the Irish coast last week. Ship spotters reported it had entered the Mediterranean Sea on Monday via the Automatic Identification System AIS. The Russian fleet had planned exercises off the coast of Ireland, but were relocated after an outcry from Irish fishermen. The Russian Navy's third Slava-class ship, RTS Moskva, 121, is based in the Black Sea. The Russian Ministry of Defense says the Kremlin has deployed 140 ships across the globe as part of a linked series of exercises. On Tuesday a UK security source told the Daily Mirror, so many Spetsnaz in the region is a very worrying development. In times of war the primary function of Spetsnaz troops is infiltration, insertion behind enemy lines, either in uniform or civilian clothing. This is usually well before hostilities begin and once in place to commit acts of sabotage, destruction of communications, logistics centers and the assassination of key government leaders and military officers. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has boosted his armed forces by 100,000 troops over three years and raised soldiers' pay. More than 1,000 civilians in Kiev are being trained up as citizen warriors to help defend against a Russian invasion. There are currently nearly 250,000 people in Ukraine's armed forces, compared to Russia's overall strength of around 900,000. Many Ukraine troops are manning a 250 trench frontline facing pro-Russian separatists in contested Donbass where 14,000 have died in bitter fighting since 2014. NATO has rallied round Ukraine in recent weeks with Britain arming and training Ukraine troops with NLAW anti-tank missiles. Ahead of a visit to Kiev Prime Minister Boris Johnson said, we urge Russia to step back and engage in dialogue to find a diplomatic resolution and avoid further bloodshed. As a friend and a democratic partner, the UK will continue to uphold Ukraine's sovereignty in the face of those who seek to destroy it. Thousands of British people who live in Ukraine are preparing to evacuate via Kiev, possibly fleeing west of the capital or fly back to the UK if the airports are not blitzed. NATO spy planes are monitoring Russia's troop buildup in Belarus to search for early warning signs of an invasion into neighboring Ukraine. An American Air Force Rivet Joint RC-135 reconnaissance plane scanned the Belarus border on Tuesday before swooping towards Crimea. The warplane was flying at over 31,000 feet at 314 knots to stay out of range of ground-to-air missiles from the Belarus side. Both areas are believed to be possible staging points for a Russian attack on Ukraine if the Kremlin orders an invasion. British rivet joint spy planes are also believed to be involved in scanning Belarus and Crimea for possible invasion signs. The 200 million pound warplane is filled with high-tech equipment capable of hoovering up communications on the ground. It can also detect signs of missile systems being lined up for an attack and geolocate where they are by tracking their guidance systems. Russia raises pressure by sending more troops to Ukraine border.